Hi friends. Today I'm going to be making green chili or chili verde, whichever one you want to call it. See you in the kitchen. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the saute function on this instant pot. And then I'm using grapeseed oil. I really like this stuff. I'm going to put in a couple of tablespoons. I'm going to let that get hot and then we'll get started. Here I've got a large onion that I've got chopped up and it's come to about two cups and I'm going to add that. I'll let it go a little bit before I add my garlic to it because you know that garlic cooks up quite a bit faster than the onion does. I do have two tablespoons that probably be, you know, anywhere from three to five cloves of garlic, but I use this kind that's already chopped up. I cheat a little bit. So now I am going to remove this stuff. I'm use a different spoon before I add this pork. By the way, I'm using I'm using a pork roast. Um, mine is probably about two pound pork roast, but you can use a shoulder, a pork shoulder. I, anywhere from two to three pounds, I think, would be fine. I've used both. Let me step up here. It's short. <laughs> Can't hardly see what you're doing when you're short. I'm going to turn it, the saute back on. And I'm going to add another couple <laughs> tablespoons of oil because I want to brown this uh, pork roast. Sorry if you guys are hating the oil, but it's one of those things. Just so you guys can see it, I have chopped mine up. Um, I just think it cooks better when it's um, cut into pieces like that. Okay, so I'm going to put the onions back in here and the garlic. And here I have a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of kosher salt, and a half teaspoon of just black pepper. Put that in there. I'm using two cans of green chilies, but you could also use tomatillas uh, or green chilies. Um, you could chop those up and saute them when you do your onions if you prefer. Uh, where I live, it's just easy to grab these, and so I, that's that's what I do. So I'm gonna put two cans of those in there. Guess I should call this easy green chili, huh? That kind of makes it easy. Okay, and this is two and a half cups of chicken broth. Stir this around a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna put the lid on. I'll make sure this bit thing is closed. And I'm gonna set, I'm gonna press the manual button and I'm gonna set it for 25 minutes. Okay, so this has gone off and it has natural release for about 10 minutes. And so I'm gonna finish venting it. What I have here is a pot of soup beans that I'm going to pour this chili, this, this green chili into. And I can put a link below for you guys to, um, if you need some instructions on beans. Um, but also you guys can use, um, like sometimes we take the, the meat and make wraps and stuff out of it, you know, and just top, top it with our favorite toppings too. So you don't have to necessarily do it this way. But it's my husband's favorite, so 
He asked me to do it this way this time. Okay. Stir it up. Mm, this smells really good. Okay, let me get a spoon. You know I gotta try it. Got to try it. Guys, I'm fixing to go enjoy this, and I uh, thank you so much for watching. Mmm, very nice look.